Okay, this is part two. Don't worry, I plan on uploading both. This is actually Green Steve's home. It's made from jungle tree, as you can tell. I had a lot of fun with this simply because it let me do work a lot with uh, nature. And I actually had fun, and of course the chicken here is dancing. Uh, go figure. Um, as you can tell, his home is fairly open, but I kind of figure with all the monsters, they're not going to be able to get in. I mean, maybe the uh, phantoms can, but, you know, case rest raw. Don't care if I said that wrong. Now, in here is the kitchen. Again, fairly basic and fairly simple. As soon as I can get in. Here we go. Again, simple. Probably not as advanced as, oh, say, the homes that's designed by a friend of mine, but, oh, shoot. <laughs> this is what I get. Well, fiddle. Uh, go figure. I gotta do this. Woo! <laughs> I don't like dropping. <sighs> no, wrong way, wrong way. There we go. Maybe that'll teach me. Probably not. Um, this is actually made entirely of trapdoors. This entire uh, bedroom is made, well, short of the roof, is made entirely from trapdoors. You can do it if you do it carefully. Obviously, you're definitely going to want to have something there if you want to put the door. Ah. Does not like working with me. Um, we do have flying obstacle courses um, back over that way. I also have a nice little garden area if you want to go there and have fun with that. This is actually a home for a specific and special kind of creeper. Uh, I believe I'll let one of my friends decide, decide how to say uh, term that one. Um, there is Bone Steve's home. Uh, I didn't realize there was a Bone Steve, but hey. I'm not sure what my friend said that was, but it's a kind of a home, sky home, I guess. And here is one of my other prides and joys. This castle has taken several days. Simply because it takes a lot to plan out a castle and then deciding the material for it. As you can tell, it's a well-lit bridge. You're not going to find any monsters hopping on that bridge unless it's chasing after you. Um, the inside is not entirely well-lit, but it's lit enough to keep most of the monsters out. Now, as you can tell, there's a small uh, medieval-type kitchen. If somebody can help me out with that, that'd be great. Uh, that was actually done by one of my other friends, but hey. Um, the purple area is the dance floor. There are the thrones. I'm not sure who the king or whatever is. Um, staircase leading up, obviously. Yes, I use anything I can to keep things lit. Um, obviously, you're going to have this nice classic balcony for the castle. And in here is basically the barracks slash library. Enchanting. Um, you've got your tables. Yeah, that was done. Armor stands, you've got your uh, bedrooms, it's basically going to have about three beds each. I'm probably going to need to put more armor stands. Oy. You Here we have the more classical chairs that you see people building. Now, how to make this is actually a fairly uh, easy trick that somebody else had uh, posted a video about. It's not that hard to do a table like that. And here we've got... Whew, Skeleton party up here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. Four or five skeletons. Oof. And right out the royal bedroom, too. That's not good. Close that up. <laughs> and here we have basically the desk where the king can work from if he wants. Uh, a replica of the map. Um, this is basically your kind of, kind of a dresser. You know, about as close as you can get. 
Uh, bed, obviously, it's not going to work for sleeping in, but it looks nice, right? This uh, is, again, an, another trick I learned from somebody. And as you can tell, this is basically where, you know, person wants to sit and relax. I'm not sure what to put on the shelves here, but here's a neat little trick. Again, here's that whole um, bubbles and stuff like that. Well, guess what? The soul sand will actually send you up. Of course, I've got that blocked off. And poof. Now, what we've got here is basically a sh private shrine that the royals have, the king or what have you, and he worships, you know, whatever lore. My friend thought would fit this place. It's looking like uh, either Gold Steve, Emerald Steve, or Gold Steve, Green Steve, and Diamond Steve, or it could be uh, King of All Steves. There's so many Steves. Oy. Now, here we have the Tower of Isolation. This is the lower section for, like, some of the lesser worries. Now, I know it's right beside the private shrine. You, you, you'd think you wouldn't want that, but, you know, you never know what happens. And if done right, you know, you can do it. You can just not worry. And here we have basically the upper tower where basically <laughs> if you're up there, you can pretty much forget getting out. And this is basically the tower that would lead up to it. Now, again, this kind of place is a very friendly place. We believe in the lures and we believe the fact that they will be at some point or another popping up, we hope. This place isn't that bad, honestly, and we're more friendly than we aren't. I know, probably doesn't sound all that great, but we are friendly. Um, there's a few people who can uh, turn on the server, but primarily it's for, uh, only for a select few. So, I will state, if any of you grief or even so much as cause too much hassle to my people or to my friends, you will be banned. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. If you think that someone's being unfair to you, you talk it out or you talk to me and I'll talk to them. I am protective of my friends, and I'm protective of those here. So I will be as fair as I can be. If you think I am not being fair, then if you want to leave, I'm sorry. I wish it had been a better time for you. But again, don't cause trouble for my people. Don't cause trouble for my friends. As this is going to be the end of this video, I believe the term is Kusa Udrandesa. See you some other time. I think I missed, I think I missed some of the words for that, but hey, it's been a while since I last used that word, those words. Have fun.